Oh yeah, totally. That's cool too. This whole double page is good. I don't know if it's a double page, but it's just... Mm, that's a good vampire. Mm. What's up, YouTubian? What's up, all you vampire slayers? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Good evening. However, whenever you're watching this, we appreciate it because you already know time is expensive. Thank you for tuning in. And thank you for subscribing. But if you're here for the first time, this show is about anything and everything. Creative. creative. <laughs> <laughs> ah, ah. Anything that sparks your creativity in whatever medium you double in. Expressing. Ah, ah. <laughs> Expressing the soul. And this is the show where we feel. This is the show where we say that there's nothing wrong with going back to the drawing board. Yes, I mean if you're an artist or just anything creative, there's nothing wrong with starting over. Yeah, yeah. inventors, always back to the drawing board, right? Yeah. Pull out a new piece of paper, whatever it may be, and figure out something yeah. new. Work it out. I mean every character as far as comic books that we've known to grow, to love, has gone through reboots, revamps, yeah. uh, different costumes, different new stories. Mm -hmm. The process of just starting over, it's always a good thing. Right, and hey, with these Marvel movies coming up, you yeah. might get a new reboot. I don't know, what do you guys think? <laughs> I think that may be come to fruition. Right. I mean, they don't write those kind of type of comics for no reason. I mean, yeah. There's always another source material to go back to, right? Oh, yeah. Why we're talking about this and what we're looking in today is... Play. Ooh, Strange Tales from Marvel. Coming out of 1998, around the same time as the movie. And um, this is uh, one out of three issues, reintroducing and just matching what they were releasing in theaters around that time of 98. Yes, sir. And just uh, making sure that, you know, for all the Blade fans or the potential Blade fans, you yeah. know, that they want to know what the comic looks like. Where to go to the comic book store and see this on the show. Yeah. You know? They're like, hey, cool, it matches. It's like a good way of starting the MCU. Yeah, definitely. They honestly should have had like a, just a complete different line of just the MCU comics. Yeah. You know, storyline. And just leave everything else its own continuity. Yeah, you know? for sure. But, eh, we're not Marvel. Yeah. We're just, we're just fans and making our own stuff. Yeah. <laughs> but today we're looking at Blade. Nice. Strange Tales. From Marvel, you know, it's a little weird imprint, but hey, I guess they're just going flashback into the old, good old days. Yeah. First spectacular issue. It's a cool, different, totally different look. Totally. Pokemon, who's there? Nice. Oh. A nice double page spread. Get a little 411 on Blade, get to meet him and the players in the story, and his recaps. That's cool, like in the uh, first appearance, he sported the uh, green goggles. Yeah, and he kept it. That's yeah, cool. It's pretty cool. And it still works. Yeah. yeah. And again, it would have been interesting if they kept that in the movie, what it would look like. Yeah, kind of has his look for uh, Blade the Vampire Slayer, right? Yeah. I mean, this is, even though it's like his first, like, comic, or first series of just Blade. Yeah. I mean, there was a 94, 95 series that ran for like maybe 10 or 12 issues. Mm -hmm. And it just was Blade, the Vampire Slayer. I mean, I don't know if any of that source material influenced the movie or influenced this comic. But, oh, yeah. you know, at least previous source materials are there just to kind of help rebuild Blade. Yeah. I wonder if Frost was in that one. In the Vampire Slayer stories. He might have um, shown up in, in the Tomb of Dracula stuff. Oh, yeah. So. yeah. All right. Look at the creative team up front. Don McGregor. Mm. Brian Hagen. Sandu Floria. Sandu. Steve Olaf. Olaf. Seeing him around on other books. Oh, look. Bob Harris. Harass. <laughs> Mr. Bob. Holding down the helm. Roberto. <laughs> nice. Ironically, he's talking to a mosquito. This is the last blood you go drink. <laughs> blood allies. Yes. This would be a good opening to a movie. Toots. It's a little of his uh, flashback of his origin. It's mm. totally cool. 
Mm, frosted uh, posing at the doctor. Hmm. Nice page spread, huh? Yeah, it's really nice. Double page spread. Nice drapage on the bed. But yeah. I mean, this, the sequential storytelling is good. I mean, it's just a mosquito, but you know, just that continuity and storytelling. It's, yeah. It's just, it's fun to look at. I like the pencils. Good art. Yeah, you could definitely see his pencils. <laughs> Raw. Oh yeah, so you like seeing this in the beginning of the movie. Right. Oh man. Intro action. Yeah, see? Oh yeah, like in that Black Panther story. <laughs> yeah. That'd be crazy if that was the same time. Mm. Look it up in the Black Panther. Old New Orleans. That's kind of a creepy, cool hangout, I guess, hideout. Mm. Creepy indeed, bro. About hanging out. Mm. Vampire layer. It's oh, trying to get busy with her. No, exactly. No. Man, you can't, you can't trust these guys. Nice angles. Like it's very cinematic. Very small details, but camera choices really do make a difference. Yeah. So I don't focus on the pretty pictures, y'all. Really move that camera around. Yeah, you know, take the time with the story. Don't you know, try the highlights. If you have trouble with uh, camera choices, watch movies. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, soundtrack, y'all. Nice. Busy ball. Oh, yeah. Mr. Majesty. Here's our one. Oh, yeah. Let's try it. Yeah, who would go there for a date? Doing a little ninja work. Ninja nudity. Oh gosh. Oh man, look at that knee though. Looks that leg looks really bent. Oh yeah, like a toy, like the uh, Marvel Legends. <laughs> Double jointed there. That's cool. Nice. Ha. Huh. Mm -hmm. oh. ah. mm. There's that line work again. I like Cowan. Really cool. Yeah. You really know that's all traditional. <laughs> hey, it looks like the thing in uh, Lost Boys. Oh, yeah, that scene. At the end, in the house. Totally. Nice. Probably watched it. <laughs> Fucking cool. Hey, yeah, even though it's like a overdub scene, they're still sequential. Yeah, for real. And that's a good storytelling, yeah. Right. I like how this uh, kind of overlaps this panel as a directional tool. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, not just immediately fall here, directing the reader. Mm -hmm. Lays over to the next scene. Exactly. Oh, that's good. It's good, like. Low answering. It's good use with the orange just to really sell that lighting. Yeah, look, he's there, right? Yeah. He filled his steak, right? And then... Whoa. He gets him right on the teeth. Just missed. Unless he was purposely aiming for this. Yeah, because he was about to bite into the neck. Damn. Let's talk about precision. Precision. I wonder if he's a sharpshooter. Wow. Good one, Blade. That's a cool stance. Yeah, it's a cool pose. Nice. That's cool. Oh yeah, totally. That's cool too. This whole double page is good. I don't know if it's a double page, but it's just... Mm, that's a good vampire. Mm. It's good wings. That's cool. <laughs> oh yeah. Straight through him. Nice. You see that? 
see the uh, the effects. Oh, I'm glad I'm on the shoulder blade. Ah, that shit hurts. I believe this knife is yours. <laughs> oh, broken fangs over neck flesh. Seeking jagged penetration. Oh. That pretty much hurts more. Probably feel like a uh, shark teeth. <laughs> Razor sharp. Ah, he's really good with those steaks. He threw him. Right there. He's been practicing. Nice. Mm, right on the crease. <laughs> Don't be this crease on my arm. <laughs> really been practicing mm. and that's two for two got the fang and got the crease I wonder if he's a fan of baseball at all mm. <laughs> oh nice sun's coming up of course being crucified in the sun. <laughs> there. Doesn't the sun feel good? No. <laughs> <laughs> I need sunboat sunscreen. <laughs> oh, doesn't they head back home? He's making more. <laughs> it's kinda like Bruce Lee carving our darts <laughs> in way of the dragon. Oh yeah. Vampire slaves existed, or vampires. Until you walked into my life. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, see, I didn't even believe vampires existed. Come on, girl. <laughs> but if you're in the vampire hunting business, a lot of your clientele will learn about you through word of mouth. Vampires through the bloodlines. <laughs> what? <laughs> Relatives, friends, police, you name it. They think they'll wipe that ear gourd, even mentioning it. Mm, so it's kind of like nobody believes in ghosts except for me and Blade <laughs> and Otome Brown. Sam, what? So I guess she's happy he's around. But then, nonetheless, one follows him there. Hmm. That's good. It's a good angle, look. See the uh, shadow. A little discreet there. So, that, so you read it this way. Yeah, it works. Don't need no little arrows to tell me where how to read this. Yeah. It's <laughs> good that. We'll be continuing the next issue. But in the meantime, we get some little back matter. Definitely nice design for the movie. Yep, yep. Definitely different from the first appearance on Too Much Dracula. And we did that episode, yo. Yeah. Look at the archives. Ooh. Cool posters. Yeah. Put this in your uh, bathroom. <laughs> in the morning, every time you wake up in the morning. <laughs> ah, brush everything. Brush your teeth. This was actually taken in uh, New Jack City. <laughs> and it was going against Ice-T. <laughs> Come on, please. That's cool. After the first scene. And the opening scene of the movie. Oh yeah, he's walking off. Mm -hmm. After he uh, went through the vent. Yeah. As if he's selling the, the stuff too. Be like Blade. <laughs> wanna be like Blade? <laughs> Forgot for Halloween. This is all the stuff you need. You wanna be a day walker for a day. That's kinda cool though. Man, who, who knew this was a headpiece? Yeah, man, it looked pretty good. Yeah. Hey, that was pretty damn good. The way they blended it too. Right. Hey, if Steve Harvey can have a nice yeah. clean 
toupee. Why not? Dave McKean. No. Uh, thing, right? Grant Morrison? Yes. Asylum, yeah? Uh, yes. Oh, computer painted images. Cool. We're gonna mix media. Mix medium. I like it. Cool. This came with an action figure. Marvel Legend. We have it. Hey. Mm, cool. Cold Trapper Keeper. Oh yeah, that'd be cool. Nice uh, folder. Nice mm. Valentine card for your significant other. Yes. Suck me. <laughs> <laughs> Sachi Assault Shaker. <laughs> nice stiff with a vengeance. The original. Vampire Slayer. Buffy. Yes. Hell Sudi, nice. Uh, Pretty cool. Sudi advertisement there. Alright, y'all. The Blade. Issue one of three. Definitely. And Definitely. That's what the other three look like. I like this cover. Pretty cool. I like the color scheme on this. Yeah, that orange really helps. Yeah. It's really awesome. So yeah, y'all. This is Blade. Three issues. Promoting the new movie of, of the 1998 film, Blade. And if you guys didn't know this one existed, now you know. Man, yeah. I didn't even know. I forgot we had this. <laughs> and it's complete, so it's cool. Yeah, yeah. So you don't have to collect too much. You already know you just need these three issues. And just to enjoy that experience of... That version of Blade, or if you're just a fan of the Wesley Snipes version of Blade, hey, you got more reasons to pick it up. Hell yeah, I fucking love Blade. Yeah, man, you can have a Blade marathon all day if you want. Hell yeah, <laughs> by far one of the best vampire movies, Blade Two. Yeah, I agree. Blade Two. It's uh, it's up there uh, with um, Death Till Dawn as yeah. far as vampire films. For sure. <laughs> All right, we're gonna end this episode with a motivational quote for y'all. and Let the value hit you for what it's worth. And if you heard this before, by all means, it's just a nice reflection of where we are today. Today. And this one is by Brooks Atkinson. And it states, since life is growth and motion, a fixed point of view kills anybody who has one. End quote. Nice. Right, it goes hand in hand with what we said. You know, there's nothing wrong with going back to the drawing board. And for this particular reboot of Blade, yeah, again, we're gonna be the very few believers that Blade was the start of the MCU. Yeah, and in order to start of you know superhero movies on film, you know they had to reboot it somehow and reboot it to uh, an aesthetic that's uh, pleasing for the average regular moviegoer yeah. or yeah. the fan of Wesley Snipes during that time. Yeah. Um, I mean, the costume definitely resembles the Matrix. I don't know if it was around the same time. Yeah, almost, yeah. But, yeah, it kind of just showed what was going on in the 90s, 2000s, that whole um, techno uh, era. Yeah, apocalyptic look, right? Yeah, it was like uh, equilibrium type, you know? Black so, trench coats. Without that shift, we wouldn't have gotten Blade. Oh, yeah, rave music was coming out at exactly. that time. Hey, that opening music was... That shit was scary. Yeah, it's scary, but uh, that's a pretty good beat. Fuck yeah. Uh, uh, but definitely didn't make me want to go to raves. Mm -hmm. you know? It's like, if that's how it's going to be, I don't want to be trapped in the middle of it. Fuck no. <laughs> Let's be an example that, you know, if you have a decoration that you've been working on for a while, or need to revamp it in a way and to be fresh, you know, by all means, go for it. I mean, you, if you need to have that creative reboot, mm -hmm. you know, for yourself, there's no reason to, to stay stagnant. You know, yeah. get just keep on flowing and just go with the creativity, you know. Yeah. Nothing wrong with reinventing yourself. Yeah, and uh, do what you gotta do in order to refuel that, your creativity, you yeah. know. Or, or turning over a new leaf. Mm, that's a good one. Starting over. Definitely. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all, I guess at that time we're gonna say, stay creative, keep creating. Stay independent, have your own voice. Tell your own awesome stories. And do your best as a human being to stay motivated and keep on going. Yeah. Sharpen your stakes and kill the negativity. Slay the vampires. Yes, please. Do some good. Do your best to be you. Yeah. Till next time, y'all. Till next time. Peace. Peace. Stay sharp, guys. Sharpen your stakes. <laughs>